In order to understand scheduling, we should first understand what is meant by demand, supply and production planning with respect to manufacturing industries. One of the most important activities for production planning and control function, PPC, is to ensure that the demand and supply are always in balance. Demand. The product that the organization is being asked to provide and which is expressed in customer purchase order, sales forecast, etc. Supply. It is the fulfillment of demands as per customer expectations. Production planning. It is setting up of production plan based on demands and the resources available. The resources for this are A. Materials B. Manpower C. Machinery D. Production capacity E. Suppliers available capacity Planning incorporates all these resources. Planning has to also take care of inventory, efficiency and time management of the production batch. To have an accurate and effective material planning, the buyer or the planner should have all the necessary information from the customer. The planning information matrix is... This matrix tells us what to buy, how many to buy and when to buy, and what to make, how many to make, when to make. In case of multiple manufacturing plants, you should also know where to make. Also important is what to ship, how many to ship, when to ship and where to ship. To have optimal inventory levels, it is very important that we should have our demand and supply balanced. Why is a balanced demand and supply important for industry? Imbalance in demand and supply will lead to the following problems. Increased inventories or stock and hence unnecessary locked up capital cost increase due to unplanned activities, poor and inconsistent quality, high lead time and loss of business, unsatisfied customers. To understand the problems caused due to imbalance in demand and supply, it's better that we take an example of a ball pen assembly line. We have a total customer order of 100,000 ball pens, out of which 75,000 are required in blue ink and 25,000 are required in red ink. The refill is a bought out part and the schedule released by the supplier is for 25,000 blue and 75,000 red ink ball pens. Assuming that the supplier supplies refills as per our schedule, we can manufacture the total 100,000 pens but it will not meet the customer requirement for the required number of blue and red pens. This is a good example of imbalanced demand and supply.